Welcome on my YouTube channel or on our YouTube channel better to say. Uh, so dear friends uh, who follows my uh, YouTube channel or our YouTube channel knows that I bought a few days ago these uh, legendary speaker boxes. Uh, I've published more videos with uh, this uh, uh, legendary Heco PCX4 uh, but now this video will be as you can uh, read in the, in the uh, video title about this legendary Kenwood KL5050D and uh, <laughs> this is the case when I must buy it. Why? I will uh, explain it a few seconds later because now <laughs> at first I would like to thank you for watching our videos, for subscribing our YouTube channel and if you would like to support our channel and if you like our videos you can also join our channel. So back to these boxes. Uh, <laughs> this video will be about this Kenwood, but only only a few words uh, about this uh, Echo uh, before I put it away. Uh, this is from early 80s, and the main reason why I bought it is that uh, is the material of the speaker cone, bus speaker cone, because it's from real sheep wool, real. <laughs> together with uh, uh, cellulose. So if you are interested, watch my previous video uh, or previous videos with this Heco. Uh, <coughs> I'm, I've recorded and published also the video where is everything dismounted. You can watch the crossover bus speaker, twe uh, tweeter and mid-train speaker, which is also very interesting. It has double magnet two magnets. So <laughs> let's uh, disconnect it and put it away. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I must make here free space. So or maybe I put it on the on the floor to have more free space. Oh. <laughs> It's heavy for me, heavy. Uh. So, <coughs> and uh, in my previous video, I've, as I told before, I've dismounted the <laughs> echo. And now in this video, let's see what's inside this legendary speaker box. box. Here's interesting, the tone selector, soft, normal, clear. And if you would like to know more about this box, uh, to hear the sound, to hear how works the tone selector <coughs> and to know uh, some info about the Kenwood brand history, watch my previous video with this speaker box, because this video will be only about what's inside. <coughs> so if I don't forget, I put here active link to the previous video and uh, <coughs> if you I uh, would like to see it or if you didn't see it up to now, stop watching this video, watch this and then go back to this video because you will see what's inside. Let's disconnect the, uh, disconnect the <laughs> uh, switch. I've recorded uh, also the sound comparison. Uh, this is the reason why I have the switch here sound comparison between the Heco and uh, Kenwood. Uh, Heco is uh, also vintage, also old, produced uh, in the year 1983, so it's more than 40 years old, uh, but I can say modern construction or much more modern than this one and this is from 70s. Um, the production started of the type D uh, <coughs> around the year 1974. <coughs> so 50 years old. Now I produced more versions, uh, KL5050 um, from the 70s, uh, 1970 started, then 5050D, like dynamic, and then the latest version, uh, 5050E, like Europe with more power. So let's disconnect it. 
<laughs> also pretty pretty heavy i can say the weight is the same like by the heco i will disconnect it totally not to make shortcut so <laughs> let's do it at first bus speaker out or i can put it in better in this position not to damage something and uh, <laughs> the best way is to use some uh, carpet or cap or something to put the screws here <laughs> so let's do it this is my about 10 years old narex battery screwdriver uh, 63 newton meter but 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 it's all the batteries we but works after 10 more than 10 years So eight screws and this is a 12 inch bus speaker. So let's take it out. Oh, okay. The wire is long enough. Trio, trio, why trio? <laughs> Watch my previous video. I explain, explain there the history of Kenwood of Kenwood brand so maybe it will be for you interesting trio it's okay <coughs> nom <laughs> eight ohms nominal nominal 12 watts only max 110 watts Japan Okay, I will try to uh, put it uh, in any other position that I can make some uh, detailed footage of the crossover. So let's try it. I believe that you can see it. Uh, another comment to the bus speaker. There is uh, <coughs> the dust cap is from textile and I can see the coil inside. Interesting. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera. So let's try to disconnect it. <coughs> the blue is on the red, on the plus and here are connectors. Uh, I must say it's very simple, but I don't like connector, this connector connection, but this is the same like in the HECO. If you watch my previous video, what's in the HECO, uh, there are, yes, no special thick wires, but in the HECO, the wires are... <laughs> This is this is a huge uh, cable in, in comparison with the Heco. So watch the bus speaker. <laughs> I love it. It looks after 50 years like new one. Why? Uh, because the text uh, the cone surrounding is from the coated textile. Coated textile, not like by other types of Kenwood speakers. Uh, they, they were used the polyurethane, and uh, the coated textiles lasts. I must do it so forever. The polyurethane, no. Uh, polyurethane <coughs> is okay. Um, 10, 15, maximum 20 years, and then you have changed the cone surrounding. But this, <coughs> like new one after 50 years. So uh, let's uh, watch the cross. Oh, uh, maybe I can, uh, <coughs> I will make now footage here detailed and then I will put it back <coughs> on the table and uh, dismount the tweeter, mid-train speaker and also the tone se selector. Okay. So maybe it will be the best way to do it. So cable on the side. Hey, 
So how do you like the crossover? How do you like the bus speaker? Write me in comments. And let's go on with the disassembly. So okay, better to this position. So in this case. So, all screws are out, uh, mid-range tweeter and also the tone selector. Mid-range, trio the same, uh, nominal 15 watts <laughs> more than the bus, max 45. Tweeter. Trio, nominal 12 watts, and uh, uh, tone selector. Uh, So I'm sorry, the tone selector uh, is uh, fits there too fast. I don't like to damage it. I try to push it uh, from the bottom out. Uh, so <coughs> I'm sorry, the tone selector, I will not uh, dismount. Let's make a detailed footage of the, <coughs> of the mid range and tweeter. So, difference. Uh, how do you like the construction of this uh, speaker box and also the speakers? Write me, <coughs> write me in comments. <laughs> I must say, I love such old speakers, and I love to dismount the speaker, dismount the speakers, disassemble, and watch what's inside. It's for me the history of old audio so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing our youtube channel and if you like our videos and if you would like to support our channel you can also join our channel so have a nice day